And in the wake of more aggression being shown toward police officers nationwide, now more than ever, police are reminded to be aware of the best ways to protect themselves. We take a look at what specific training is being done on the coast to help motorcycle cops, police who don't have a full car to buffer them. Brian Blakely is a motorcycle cop in Mobile, Alabama, but this week he's on the coast swerving in and out of cones, honing his bike skills. Anytime you can get out and do training to, to hone in on your skills, your riding skills, you can't do anything but help you get better. The majority of what motorcycle cops do are traffic stops, and especially with the recent news of two Hattiesburg police officers being killed on one, it's extremely important for them to know how to use their vehicle to protect them. That threat is increased when you're on a motorcycle because you don't have cover and stuff like that. So if we uh, encounter a threat out there on a traffic stop, on a motorcycle, we have to know how to take cover behind it to protect ourselves from any threat that may occur. About 70 motorcycle officers from Mississippi, Alabama, and Louisiana have been taking advantage of this free training since Monday through an annual conference put on by the Mississippi Law Enforcement Association. This enhances their skills for what they do every day as a police officer on a motorcycle. It helps them maneuver the bike. It makes them be more familiar with what they're doing. And the more familiar each motorcycle cop like Corporal Blakely becomes, the more prepared they will be to protect the community they serve as well as themselves. It helps us to uh, build our confidence in what we can do just in case uh, something comes upon us that we have to be ready to react to whatever happens. Tomorrow these bike cops will put what they've learned this week to the test in a friendly competition.